and Elizabeth Pipko, the RNC national spokesperson now joining us from Florida. Elizabeth, thank you so much for making some time for us. We appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for having me. We spoke to a pollster earlier this week who said that he believes about one in 10 voters are still undecided, uh, at least of the voters that have not voted yet. What's your message to the many undecided voters here in Nevada, our critical swing state? Yeah, look, I think the message is simple, right? Were you better off under President Trump or are you better off now under the leadership of Joe Biden and Kamala Harris? It's a very special election, right? We almost have two incumbents going up against each other, someone who was in the office for four years and now someone again as VP who was in the office for four years. So people get to directly compare the policies and those results. They get to directly compare how much money they had in their pockets, how safe they felt, how safe the world felt, right? And decide for themselves what's best for them. I think that's kind of the message that's most important for us. It's not about the rhetoric. It's not about what people are telling you. It's about how you felt under President Trump's leadership and how you're feeling now and what you think is best for you, your family and this country moving forward. A reaction from the president, Joe Biden, got a lot of attention this week uh, where some people say and believe that he was calling President Trump's supporters garbage, garbage, excuse me. He has said and, and clarified that he was trying to refer to the comedian that spoke Sunday in Madison Square Garden. But regardless, what was your reaction to those comments? Yeah, look, I was appalled, to be perfectly honest. I think there's a lot to be said about rhetoric and we've heard a lot over the last couple of years in this country. But I think when you go after not a candidate, right? Politicians know what they signed up for. But when you go after their supporters, I think it's pretty disgraceful, especially as the sitting president, right? The commander in chief of the United States. I'm so glad that he walked the comments back. However, the video lives on and it's up to the American people to decide for themselves what he meant, how they wanna take that and where they wanna go from here, right? I believe that he meant what he said and I thought it proved that we were at a really, really sad point truly in our country. And I hope to God more than anything, after November 5th, we can come together and move forward in a much better light. Hmm. So you're opposed to President using, uh, former pre uh, President using those words, excuse me. Will you also then call out President Donald Trump who has called his supporters things like the enemy from within, vermin and scum? How are those any different? He called Joe Biden's supporters that or he called illegal immigrants he has that? Called, he has called uh, Democrat, uh, his Democratic opponents, the enemy from within. I believe he has also referred to his opponents as vermin, uh, scum. Regardless of if it's immigrants or Democrats, should we be using those terms at all? Well, what I just said was there is something to be said about going after your opponents, right? Joe Biden and Donald Trump have gone after each other in the past. President Trump has been called Hitler since 2015, but I've never heard someone go after someone else's supporters, right? That's a much bigger problem, I think, calling out millions of Americans and not just your political opponents. The political opponents is the, the enemy from within common. That is who is he, he is referring to is his political opponents. So that's okay? He was referring to millions of Americans as the enemy from within? It, it was unclear who exactly he was referring to. It wasn't but unclear. He's talking opponents. about the media and those trying to take down this country. He never said Joe Biden supporters ever in his life. Okay. Vermin and scum, though, whether it's opponents, supporters, immigrants, those terms are acceptable? Look, I don't love those terms. I hate where we are right now, right? And I say that from my heart. I'm a daughter of two immigrants from this uh, to this country. I love America and I hate the point that we have reached right here. But if people did not start calling Donald Trump Hitler nine years ago, we would not be here right now. So we call on former President Trump to stop using, in this interview, stop using the words vermin and scum to describe his opponents? I call on everyone to try to do what they think is best for the future of this country. All righty. Former President Trump will be in Nevada today. He's down in Southern Nevada uh, for a rally at 3.30 today. What do you th hope and want Nevadans to hear from that rally? I want them to hear what they're looking for, right? Because it's not up to Donald Trump to do this for himself or for his base, right? It's up to him to do this for the people in this country who are considering voting for him to be their president for the next four years, right? I want them to get the answers that they are looking for, right? Everywhere I go, no matter what state I'm in, I hear about concerns uh, regarding the economy, right? Regarding inflation, uh, regarding border security, foreign policy, so many different issues. And I want the people that are going to these rallies, listening to his words, looking for answers to their questions. I want them to get the answers they're looking for so they know what's best for them moving forward. Obviously, I believe that that is President Trump, but I think it's up to the American people to go there for themselves, find out what he has planned for them, what he has in store to fix these problems that Joe Biden and Kamala Harris have brought upon the American people and to vote accordingly. Elizabeth Pipko, the RNC national spokesperson, thank you for joining us today. We appreciate it. Best of luck. Thanks for having me.